Okay, UK PSR here at our location at the Ancient Ram Inn. This was a place that I did on my own last time, but this time I brought John with me uh, to investigate this building. What was your initial thoughts of the building, John, when you walked in? Um, yeah, it's it's definitely set up. It's definitely old, and you know you can see how it's probably got its reputation. Um, it's an old building. It's cold. Lots and lots of artifacts and things lying around from the previous owners, you know, living here. Um, but no, I can definitely see how it's... Fantastic place, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is awesome. The, the history and the age of everything in here is just, it's just incredible. But what, what, what are you expecting out of tonight? Is it, is it, are you hyped up for a little bit after what uh, you've read? Um, yeah, you saying about reading up. Um, I've done a few um, investigations with film, yeah. as you know, and I don't normally do any research no, that's what I'm on anything what? that we've done. However, when I saw that you were coming to this place by yourself in November, was it? November, we, I yeah. came on my own, yeah. Um, and then it was kind of like, oh, can I come? And you went, no, sorry, I'm only booked for one this time. So, but you said, oh, we'll book in again. Yeah. Um, he said, we'll just go, just the two of us. Because I'm not saying I don't believe in the supernatural, yeah. but someone's going to have to yeah. be proven for me to believe yeah. in it. I'm just a bit sceptical about it all. Um, yeah, a bit like yourself, really. Yeah, if, you, if something you know, happens, you know how I work. Fantastic, you know, you know that I'm not going to make anything up. Obviously. That's it. And after having a, seen your video um, that you did on the night here by yourself, you crazy fool. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit mad. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people said I was mad for coming back. Yeah, you absolute but... maniac. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kind of like when I walked in, I got shivers up my spine, but I then know. I realised the building was quite. But cold. You can you imagine how I felt that night? No, yeah, actually, definitely. You know, because I did investigate this place totally in the dark yeah and it did mm. yeah, there were spells where i did feel a little bit um on edge but i think you know with the place and its reputation you're going to definitely feel that yeah, of course you but are. you don't do a lot of research on buildings but what made you on this occasion do the research because you've done quite a bit of research yeah. this time haven't you you've just done this used the keyword there you said this place and its reputation yeah. after seeing what you did obviously i'm kind of like well that's quite interesting so you watch what other youtubers yeah. have done some of them yeah it's if anything's ever something's ever been staged then that's the thing isn't yeah. it you know it's kind of like, oh my god did you see that black yeah. cat over there yeah. jesus man and you're like they're pandering to what is well known about the place you know the, the substance of um the supernatural you know the the spirits here the the scary bis bishop's bedroom the witch's bedroom and her cat um so they're kind of like playing on the the strengths of what is in the reputation of the building um i didn't want to do that i wanted to find out a little bit more about it i mean building you know purportedly built in 1145 yeah, yeah. um you know some of its uses were to hold the workers or slaves and the the um craftsmen and masons and architects who built the church I don't know if people can hear, but there's some the bells ringing bells in the background. Must be bell ringing. Not the little exciting one over there that we hope to hear later, but you know, it's it's the bells. The bells. Um, and then when you start looking into the village of Watton, um, it goes back, you know, hundreds of years before that. Uh, there's records of it being here since like the um, the 900s, um, in 1086 in the Doomsday Book, it was registered as being in there, um, you know, and the the, the lords of the area and everything are listed in there, how they were appointed by William the Conqueror, and 1086 when the Doomsday Book was written, which is basically, you know, a record of all the buildings and people in the in an area. And in Watton Edge, there was four homesteads and about eight slaves. Then I think it was 1199, during King John's um, reign, the whole of Watton was just yeah. levelled in a fire. So then as part of the rebuilding of that, um, it started in 1346, the church, the bells have stopped now. They've stopped. Yeah, you've heard we're talking about yeah. them. Um, <laughs> the, the rebuilding of that and the tower took place when, you know, supposedly people were help were um, based here. And also the position of the place as well. Um, if people talk about paganism, because mm. there's meant to be a lot of pagan rites, you know, yeah. and rituals that have been, that have taken place here. Um, if you look at the word pagan, all it means is someone who doesn't believe in a Christian God. Yeah. So when the Romans came over and tried to convert everywhere to Christianity, um, you know, there's, there was certain you know peoples who didn't want to take that religion on board. Um, one of those, and I find it especially fascinating, bearing in mind we're on the convergence of two ley lines, lines yeah. 
you know, they're sort of like lines of power. allegedly goes to Stonehenge. One of them does come from Stonehenge. Yeah. Um, you know, now if we talk about ley lines, you can't help but then be brought onto like the Druid religion as well, because they're great believers in, you know, the lines of power that run through the yeah. earth. If we look a bit closer to home for us in North Wales, you've got Anglesey. Um, every other field has got what's called a standing stone in it. And if you look at the lines, I mean, that's following these ley lines and they all kind of like culminate on Hollyhead Mountain which is another fantastic yeah. Druid site so going to paganism you know was it Druids who carried out and we know from current day times if you look at the Wicker Man yeah. it's symbolic yeah. of you know killing someone or sacrificing someone um, yeah it's, you know supposedly it's tragic that these children were sacrificed but that was, that was the, the way, way of life yeah. for them wasn't it you know that was the offering to the earth, which you know these pagan people believed were, you know that's what they worship: yeah. trees, grasses, rocks, mountains, something like that. Not just a deity, a Christian deity. But yeah, I found that particularly fascinating. So there you go. Um, we, we have set up uh, a little experiment to like what well, well, we set up. I won't show you in camera now, but we set up some cat food because of the allegedly haunted cat that's supposed the haunted to, cat, the yeah. haunted cat that's supposed to meow and run past your legs. So John has bought. He's, he hasn't even got a cat. He's, he's gone out and bought a, a, a cat um, bowl, tray, a cat food. bowl. Uh, we put some food in it, and we've, we've got a couple of cat bowls next to the uh, food as well. And what we're going to do later, we're going to uh, set up a dictaphone and see if we get anything during the night. So we're going to crack on with the investigation, John, aren't we? Yeah, we've even brought some dreamies because if you look at the advert, the that'll get caught, that'll get cat, cats <laughs> yeah. jumping through walls and everything. So we'll crack, we'll crack so out. So John's the done a lot. Later. He's done a lot of reading on the history. He's also done a lot with the cat, and he's gone out and bought the food as well so hopefully we might just get something out of that tonight but i'm i'm looking forward to i'm it, looking John. forward to it. I, in, whether you we know. whether something happens or not yeah. um if it does that's absolutely fantastic but you know something tangible not just yeah um oh did, ooh, did well, you we haven't really that? got any plans have we, we, we haven't got we're just plans. we're just going to go with the flow aren't we yeah really? you know we'll do some some like loan vigils, vigils together yeah. uh, or some loan vigils apart in the various different rooms Bishop's room. I'm not particularly looking forward no. to, but we'll go and we'll see what happens out. up there. Um, I mean, the open grave that we've got here. You know, we'll see if anything happens with that now. Um, but yeah, it'd be good. Um, it's going to be a, it's going to be a positive either way if we can actually have something happen and we can prove to ourselves, yeah, to ourselves. that something happened. We'll never be able to prove to the world of YouTube no, and exactly. the other people, you know, they'll have to hopefully take our word for it, but based on mm. your record of investigations, if you say something happens, yeah. then the chances are something, something did, did happen. Because happen, yeah. um, obviously we don't make it, you know, you know, you look back at my videos and yeah. not a lot happens, so we're just, we're just going to go with the flow, uh, take everything as it comes and we're going to get on with the investigation, so yeah. we'll see you there then. If nothing happens, it's happened to everyone else. Then we've disproved those rumours, so it's a success on or a success. On to the investigation. Let's move on. Let's move on. Bye for now. Bye bye. So, first vigil. First vigil. We're in the bar. We're in the bar where we're sitting on the bench. I think it wasn't this John's bed? No, I don't think so. Isn't this the one where there's been all the sleeping bags and that when he wouldn't sleep upstairs? No, he slept on that city in the um, lounge. Did he? Yeah, that's oh, where right. he spent his last few years. No, oh, right. Can't we? This is the room, it's got the open grave in it, it's over to our left hand side. The room where people have supposedly heard cats as well, isn't it? Yeah. This is where you thought you heard a cat? Yeah, when I came down uh, from upstairs and I went into the lounge and there was a, if you look back at the last video, I actually thought I heard a, a meow sound of a cat, whether it was a door latch, I'm not really sure, but I did know about the cat, so whether that was suggested, yeah. I don't know. That's the thing about these places, isn't it? Because so much yeah. is there, you've got the... It was just strange, though, because when I was upstairs, it, it all happened within 10 minutes, because I was upstairs in the bit where I showed you before, and I was calling out for children. I don't even know why I asked if there was children here. Yeah. And there was a big thud that sounded like it was in this room, and I came down, and that's when I thought I heard the, the meow with the cat. Right. Yeah, this is, um... But we've set the, haven't we, John? We've set the cat food we've up. We've set our the, experiment And the dictaphone up, so we're going to leave that running all night. See what happens. Red ball and a blue ball, they've both got little bells in it, so hopefully, if there's any movement on those, I hasten to add there's no draft, it's a really calm night, isn't it? It is, which is good, isn't it? Yeah, really? so we haven't got the sort of like the, 
the environmental factors to deal with like rattly windows and rattly the doors. The good thing, John, it because that's the only room that's heated. There's yeah. no central heating, so there's no cooling down the radiators here, is there? That's a solution. There won't be any clicking the floorboards and the stuff Which that you get good. in other places, isn't it? So it's yeah, we, we quite quiet, isn't it? The, when you're walking around, environmental wise, it's quite quiet. Yeah, as I say, we have still got the church bells going on outside, but I think they stopped again. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. <laughs> if you think they've stopped, mate, <laughs> no, <they haven't. laughs> you need to go and get your ears sorted. <laughs> if anyone can see any wisps of steam, it's nothing spooky. We've it's both got brews. Our coffee to keep us awake. It's only what five past nine now, so this is the first vigil that we've done. So we're just gonna give it half an hour in here, aren't we? And see yeah. if we get anything before we head off upstairs. So we're not gonna we're not gonna batter it. Just take our time as we go through. We've got all night if we need to. I'd just like to hear like movement, that's what I'd like to hear. I know, I'd love to feel something push against me like... Yeah, the cat. Yeah, I'd love to hear a rattle <laughs> of a bell. <laughs> yeah, the cat's meant to be the, um, the witch who saw solace here after she'd been chased. She was caught unfortunately at some point and was um, put to death, burnt at the stake um, she's purported to have had a cat with her as well, a black cat that people have claimed to have seen on other vigils so as I say we're going to try and exploit the info that other people have come up with and the, the things that they've supposed to have seen um, Whilst all the time seeing if we can get something to happen. You settled a bit now, haven't you, as well? Yeah, I know my way around a bit now. Yeah. It's it's bizarre. I mean, I've seen it quite a few times on YouTube. And it's like, mm, which trying to get the layout in your head. Yeah. Just in case something happens and I need to do a massive fart and run out of here, <laughs> I'm all right. I know my way out now. Um, but yeah, those church bells that you can hear in the background, um, those of you who know the history of the pub, um, the slaves that are supposed to have stayed here helped build that church, stopped in 1346. They stopped. They stopped. Just have a listen to the absolute silence. silence. very quiet isn't it here until obviously if a car goes past you you will hear the car because we're more or less on the road level aren't we here well, we're below the road level yeah. on this one aren't we because so you get a lot of hopefully you know come to come 12 2 o'clock there won't be yeah. much traffic so there might be a little bit of traffic noise for the next hour or so do you want to give it a call out shall we yeah are there any spirits in this room Anyone curious about why we're here? If there's any spirits, can you show yourself in some form? Make a noise. Tap on something. Touch one of us. If there's any animal spirits in here, a cat. We've brought some toys. Try and make one of the balls move. We've come as friends. We're at one point in time here now, it's nine o'clock mm. on Tuesday the 22nd of February 2022. But within a building of this history, people say that you know there can be kind of like rents in time, can't there? Yeah. So all the things that people have seen or felt, are the people here still the spirits from their time as the building was then? And do they 
when everything meets up and matches up, do they get a little yeah, insights yeah. and feelings of us in this time, in their spirit world? Yeah. Quite mind blowing, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's it incredible, really is. isn't it? Yeah, you know, you think about the Matrix, you know, with moving backwards and forwards in time and things yeah. like that. Is there any spirits here who want to communicate with us, please? Is it still too early? Am I sitting in someone's seat? Did someone used to sit here. Maybe not at this bench, but in this location. In years gone by, when it was an inn. Travel is in here. The people that must have passed through this place. Oh. I know. The only stayed here, and just even locals, he just drank here. Yeah. So was it? It's eleven forty-five. So that's eight hundred and fifteen. 837 years old-ish now, this current building. Amazing, isn't it? This wood. Hey, knock, knock on this, the, on this wood, on this bar. Can you, can you knock back in this room? Can you knock for us? Spirit animals in here. There's the cat here. Can you brush against my leg? Can you make a sound? You can copy me. Let me ring the bell. Just here. The bell. Can you do that? Use my energy if you need to. I'm still standing close to it. Come closer to me. Use my energy. You make the bell make a noise, any noise. I right, ring the bell again. I'm standing close to the bell. Push me out the way to get to it. Or use my energy to make the bell make a sound. Any sound. Are there any other things in here you can touch? You know that raven that's hanging up in front of me, mate? Yeah. It's nope. turning round. Really? I can just see the tail. Where? John, just put your torch on a sec. Sorry, mate. Just, just, I've just, just watched the just tail. Put your torch on, mate. Um, okay. Just hold on. Shit. Where's my torch? There's not a draft in this room. Is it moving? Yeah, it's turning round. I could see in the light from the window that its tail was moving across. There you go, turning again. Look at its shadow on the roof if you're on the, the beams.
that happened in one of the other videos on YouTube. And it stopped and pointed at someone, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I could act as I say, I could see its tail moving around and it disappeared out of my you know, the light from the window over there. Yeah. Turning the other way now. There's no reason. There's no movement of air. Spirits, if that's you, thank you for that. I realise asking you to ring the bell might have been a lot. Can you change the direction in which the bird is turning, please? It's turning away from me and round towards Phil. Is there any way you can make it change direction back towards me again? It really is turning more. John. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? <laughs> That's turning right round. With our practical head on. There's people outside. Yeah, there's people outside. Just by the way. But with a practical head on. Could that be turning? Because I'm talking and making the air move. Maybe. Just blow. Slightly. I'm just going to blow again. I'm actually blowing harder than I would be making air move with talking, so. I'll tell you what, John. We just. Look, it's, a... it's moving now, and nobody's. Bl you're not blowing unless it's a delayed reaction and you're blowing. That's coming right towards me now. Yeah. So if we turn our heads away from it so that our breath isn't going to affect it, if we talk. Do you know what though mate, when I was here that never happened. Didn't it? It never happened once, I kept my eye on that bird and it never ever happened to me. And there's no wind outside, there is a little bit of a jack coming through the windows. Probably that's enough to turn, but that is turn more or less. What was it making well, that's, that's in the position it was when I saw the tail start to turn again. So can we just have a look above it, just make sure that there's nothing... It's attached on, with what looks like a piece of fishing wire. Now it's a piece of cotton to a rusty nail knocked into this beam. So there's no mechanical things making it turn. It's when you draft coming out of that grave. That's the grave, the, the, the bird's over the church children's grave, isn't it? You feel when you draft out of there. Yeah, So if I stand still for a minute, because I have probably disturbed the air moving around. If you're moving to that bird, can can you move it again now? Now it's stopped. Can you turn that bird a right round? The one above the children's grave.
if I've been actually looking at you. So my breath shouldn't be disturbing that. But say it never did that last time I was here. Turn more or less right round, doesn't it? Again, it's gone through 180 degrees since you asked it to turn. Just make sure there's no big gaps in those stone bricks with these stones here. The only draft of beers from that, um, Pardon? the only draft of beers is from that window with behind that, yeah, wooden thing. John, that's gone right round. Yeah, Look, that's the first time it's done that, hasn't it? Yeah. Phil, what? if you have a look, look at the cobwebs, just to prove that there aren't any drafts in here. See the cobwebs just up off the, that beam nearest to the wall? Yeah, I the camera's picking up. I'm not looking the camera, I'm just trying to show people back at home, that's all. If I blow, the, blow them to see if we can make them move and you can see them. Let me just zoom in on them, John. Just point to them over your fingers. I can't see with the night vision, mate. Sorry. There. Um, I'll, I'll blow and make it move. See them? Yeah, I'm not sure. If I can see it on camera, but I can't tell until I look back. Okay. Well, there's some cobwebs up there. They're moving now because I've just blown them. You, what you say? There's no draft when, like you did before, you blew them. Yeah, so they're just settling now. And there's no movement in them at all now. So there's no drafts. And the bird. That could be affecting the bird. And which the, is still moving. And the bird. Has it stopped? No, it's still swinging around the other way. So I don't know if the air's being disturbed somewhere else. But. Hard, isn't it? In the immediate area, there's no apparent drafts. So could that be moving because there are other entities, spirits, walking around in here? And their movement. See, why would it just stop if, if, if it was a draft? You think you could just keep going, going wouldn't you? It's going the other way now, is it? Yeah. Is it moving again? Yeah. Or has it stopped? No, it's, not, it's moving away from us now. The, the nose, the front of it is moving away towards the far wall, towards where the security camera is. The tail's coming round from the right towards us. Just noticed there's another one over there on the shelf, isn't it? Mounted in better condition. Yeah. 